Silverlicious by Victoria Khan. Please subscribe, like and watch until the end where a surprise is waiting for you. I had a wiggly tooth. It had been wiggling for days. I wiggled my tooth at breakfast and I wiggled it at lunch. At snack time I saw that Peter was eating a chocolicious cookie. I grabbed it and took a big bite. Look, my tooth came out. Yay, I said. But something was wrong. Oh no, mummy! It wasn't just any tooth. It was my sweet tooth. This cookie has no flavor. It tastes like dirt. Oh dear, you lost your sweet tooth? asked mummy. How dreadful, said daddy. That's what you get for stealing my cookie, said Peter, sniffling. What am I going to do without my sweet tooth? I know. I grabbed my pinkertastic pen and started to write. Dear Tooth Fairy, Today my sweet tooth came out. What should I do? Could you please send me something sweet to eat until a new tooth grows in? Love, Pinkalicious. I tucked the note under my pillow with my tooth and kept one eye open all night. I had always wanted to know exactly what the tooth fairy looks like. Tonight I would see her. Pink! Pink, pink, went my alarm. I must have fallen asleep. I looked for my tooth, but it was gone. In its place were three red candy hearts and a note. Dearest Pinkalicious, how art thou? Toothy Tina, your personal tooth fairy, was busy last night. Unfortunately, a girl in New Zealand was having her molars out. Toothy Tina had to fly there to help her. It takes a long time for a tooth fairy to fly because her wings are so small. Toothy Tina asked me to help you. I hope you don't mind. Forever yours, Carlos Cupid. Peter, come quick, I shouted. Cupid was here. Did you see him? Did you? Did you? asked Peter. No, I missed him. I guess I fell asleep. Look, he left me candy. I put a couple of red hearts in my mouth. Eek! These are red hearts. My mouth is burning, I yelled. They taste like coal. Yum! They taste great to me, said Peter. And look at all the hearts in your room. Cupid must really like you. Cupid loves everybody. Where is my tooth fairy? I want my tooth fairy, I said, stomping my foot. My plan was to stay awake all night long so I could take a picture of Cupid to show my class. I had my camera ready. I wrote another note. Dear Carlos Cupid, thank you so much for the red hots. Unfortunately, they were disgusting. I would prefer to have something sweet. Love, Pinkalicious. Ping, 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 went my alarm. I had fallen asleep again. I looked for my note. It was gone. In its place were three jelly beans 
and a new node. Dear Pinkalicious, Excuse me, the candy wasn't sweet enough for you? Poor Carlos Cupid, his heart was broken last night when he read your letter saying that you didn't like his candy. He asked me to help you. Normally, at this time of year, I'm having an extravagant holiday in exciting Ecuador, but I decided perhaps I might be able to help you. Please enjoy the jelly beans. Kind regards, Edgar Easter Bunny. P.S. Tuthitina is in India helping an elephant with a tusk ache. When I tasted the jelly beans, they felt like little pebbles in my mouth. Yuck, I said, spitting them out. These jelly beans taste awful. And look at all the footprints the bunny left around my room, I complained. I don't see anything wrong with it at all, said Peter. Looks like he left eggs everywhere. He grabbed a basket and started to collect as many as he could. Where is Toothy Tina? I wondered. That night I wrote another note. I had my camera ready, plus a net, so I could catch that bunny, if he had the nerve to hop around my room again. I would definitely stay awake tonight. Dear Edgar Easter Bunny, thank you so much for the eggs. Unfortunately, I lost my sweet tooth so the jelly beans had no flavor. Could you please, please, please ask Toothy Tina to come and leave me something sweet? Love, Pinkalicious. Ping, 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 went my alarm. I fell asleep again. This time I found three tiny candy canes and a note. Dear Pinkalicious, I'm so happy that I got a break from all the toys I have to make, morning, noon and night. Being a tooth fairy is a much better job. Toothy Tina had to fly to Japan to celebrate with a little boy who was finally getting his braces off. She asked me to help out. Have a very merry day. Elf number 351 I licked a candy cane. Gross! It tasted just like hard toothpaste. What a mess! There was snow everywhere. Do you think he left some toys here too? asked Peter. You sure are lucky. When I lose a tooth, I just get a few coins under my pillow. But I wanted something sweet from the tooth fairy. Something that would taste good until my new sweet tooth grows in. I want to see Tina! That night I was ready. Dear Elf number 351, Thank you so much for the candy canes. Unfortunately, they tasted bad. Could you please, please, pretty please, with sugar plum flavoring on top, ask Toothy Tina to come and leave me something sweet? Perhaps she is the only one who can help me out. Pinkalicious Pinkerton Pink, 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 went my alarm. 
I slept right through it. When I finally woke up, I found nothing. My note was gone, but there was nothing else. I was so disappointed. Nothing from Cupid, the Easter Bunny or even Elf 351. Then I noticed a teeny weeny slip of paper under my chair and three silver coins. Dear Pinkalicious, sweetness comes from the inside. When you are sweet, the world and all the delicious things in it will be sweet too. With love, to Tina. P.S. Don't forget to brush and floss after every meal. Huh? What does that mean? I wondered. Hadn't I been sweet? Maybe I wasn't sweet when I bit into Peter's chocolicious cookie, or stomped my feet, or spat out the candy. Maybe I could have been sweeter to Cupid, the Easter Bunny, and Elf 351. I was really very lucky that they came and visited me. I wrote a new note. Dear Edgar Easter Bunny, Carlos Cupid, Elf number 351, and Tusi Tina, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedules to visit me and for leaving me red hots, jelly beans, candy canes and three silver coins. I'm sorry if I wasn't grateful. You made my room look beautiful and you are welcome to visit me any time. Love, Pinkalicious. P.S. I want you all to come back soon. Peter. I folded it up for later. I began to feel much better. Hey, Pinkalicious, did you know that the silver coins are actually made of chocolate? Asked Peter, stealing the coins out of my hand and running around the room. Peter, you can have the chocolates because you are usually such a nice brother, I said sweetly. Huh? Mm, I don't want them. You can have them back. I'm sorry I took them, Peter said, handing them back to me. How about if we share, I said, tasting a chocolate coin. Yummy! It's silverlicious. I can taste sweet things again. Hooray! From now on, I'm always going to be as sweet as my sweet tooth. Enjoy my new series Oliver and Chumpy. 19 video books with about 500 pictures. There's text, but I also read it aloud for the younger children. I have written 65 stories and had them illustrated at great cost for your children's fun. Oliver is an elegant tomcat and Chumpy is his lady friend. Oliver loves to ride in Chumpy's pouch when they go for adventures together. Please find a link to the first book in the description of this video. Please always subscribe and like if you find my effort interesting. Thank you so much.